Yo, what's up? It's your man Plus, and we back with a recap of Mike P versus Geechee Gotti on the band card last night on Caffeine by URL, the Ultimate Rap League. And before we jump into this, make sure y'all subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button. If you're new here, thanks for pulling up. We're gonna jump right into this recap right here. Or should we even call it a recap? This was an assassination of Mike P that we witnessed last night. Geechee Gotti didn't hold not a single punch last night against Mike P. And I felt like Mike P went into this battle naive. I feel like he thought, uh, that angle against my baby mother has been used ever since I battled bill collector in a uh, URL tournament. Then Rada went. And then every battle after that, it has been bought up. Maybe Mike P was thinking it's been bought up so much that maybe Geechee will speak on it. But for the most part, he might think that it's an overused angle as well and not speak on it so much. The absolute opposite happened. Geechee Gotti didn't talk about nothing but that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was an assassination last night that we witnessed, y'all. I don't think that it's... It, it was no recovering from that round last night. Imagine if Geechee Gotti won the coin toss and made Mike P go first. You know how much worse it would have looked for Mike P, yo? Just think about that for a second. As embarrassing and as bad as you felt, I felt for Mike P watching that last night. I can't even imagine if Geechee went second with that same exact material last night. Like, Mike P. Uh, Mike P, Mike P, Mike P. You know what you're going to have to do, Mike P? Listen to me, come here. You know what you're going to have to do, Mike P? You're going to have to rap about it, nigga. You have no choice. You are going to have to go into that bag if you're going to defend her, if you're going to uh, whatever you're going to do, however you feel about the situation, you have to talk about it. You have to. You can't keep coming in here thinking, oh, I'm going to write the most amazing shit and everybody's just going to overlook the baby mother bars and no, no. Obviously, nobody gave a shit about what you talked about in your round, Mike. Nobody. You said that there may have been bias in the room due to it being home court advantage. I don't care where the battle was at, Mike. It was going to be the same thing, my nigga. Bill Collector told you after y'all battle in the tournament, if anybody else does it, it's going to be corny. It was for, for a little hot second, but this is Geechee Gotti we talking about here. If y'all haven't noticed, disrespect has become one of Geechee Gotti's strong suits. It just is. He's realized that he has the muscle, the power, the, the credibility, the popularity, and the space to just do whatever he want to do. What would make you think that Geechee wouldn't come in there and try to assassinate your character even further? And... Assassinate, 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 assassinate. This was an assassination. Geechee creeped up on you, and before you realized he was up on you, headshot. Headshot, 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 headshot. My dude, this was overkill. So how do you bounce back from this? You got to talk about it. You have to. And at some point, 
you and your baby mom, I, I think you guys are married now. I, I don't know. At some point, you guys as kid is going to grow up old enough to be able to go on YouTube, type in my dad, Mike P. See what's up with Mike P. He was in the battle. I remember him as a little kid writing and rehearsing and see what he's talking about. Boom, Mike P. versus Geechee Gotti. At some point, you and your kid's mom is going to have some splaining to do, my friend. Got some splaining to do, my friend. Because your kid is going to have questions, my friend. And all the answers are going to be in your battles, Mike. And this is going to be how it's going to be, Mike, until you change it, Mike. You got to rap about it, Mike. You can have all the most incredible anime, Pokemon, Street Fighter, by uh Dowson, whoever bars. Super Smash Brothers, Call of Duty, it don't matter. You can have all of that, Mike, and nobody is going to give a fuck. Just so you know. You got to talk about it. And you got to do it in a way to where it disarms whoever the opponent is that you're facing. Because you know they're going to talk about it. If it ain't the first thing that they say to you in the battle, it's going to be the first thing they say to you in the battle, Mike. You literally was just a springboard for Geechee Gotti. He just won champion of the year for the third time. You just springboarded him right back to maybe a four-time Champion of the year winner or contender. He's definitely in the running with that performance last night. He obliterated you, Mike. That nigga took the thing you wrapped your hair around with and threw that shit across the room, Mike. Now you're standing there looking like Encino Man, Mike. I wonder what your baby mother was thinking last night holding your baby watching that on caffeine last night, Mike. You probably had family around too, Mike, around her, helping her watch a kid, your mom or somebody like that, Mike. And they seen you get your ass whipped. Whipped. <laughs> Rest in peace to Pops, yo. John Witherspoon. You gotta talk about it, Mike. If you don't, this is just gonna keep happening. Pretty much all I got to say about it. When it comes out on the app, Mike, it's going to be worse for you. It's like you keep reliving the same bad dream over and over and over and over and over. Groundhog Day just passed. Y'all remember that movie Groundhog Day? Every time he went to sleep, he woke up and it was the same shit over and over and over again like that movie 50 first dates when the girl kept losing her memory so he had to keep reminding her over and over and over that's what the that's the cycle you're stuck in now mike it don't matter how long you stay away from battle rap no matter how much you stay on caffeine and play games and have people watch your streams and stuff you can stay away as long as you want to but as soon as you step your ass back in the ring against anybody the first thing they're going to do is bring up this angle against you. And the more that you keep trying to avoid it and being like, oh, here we go again type shit, the more it's going to get worse for you, dude. Talk about it. Stop letting these dudes walk through you. Geechee Gotti just came in there, smacked your lunch on the floor. He flipped over the table. He smacked the lunch lady. He, he spit in the, the juice and the Kool-Aid. He even walked all over your macaroni that y'all ain't even make yet. Y'all just had him sitting there draining, and he knocked that over. This nigga just, just destroyed everything that exists around you, Mike. Not kicking a man down, kicking a man while he's down, just keeping it real with you, Mike. Nobody else is going to do it. I'm going to get it to you 100% unfiltered, Mike.
you have to change the narrative. By the way, that's the name of my new show that I'm putting together. Change the narrative. Got to change the narrative. There's a couple people this year that are changing the narrative, Mike. Snake Eyes is changing the narrative. People didn't like him. People still don't like him. People think he trash. I personally like Snake Eyes. I feel like this year is starting to be the year of the underdog. All of the guys that nobody was paying attention about or either overlooking is shining right now. Bad news. Won the belt. Did amazing last night against Kid Slade. He's changing the narrative around his brand, Mike. You got to do the same thing. If not, it's going to be the same rinse and repeat cycle angle against you. Bring your girl to the battle, Mike. Use her as a prop. Have her pop out. If I die, whatever. Something. You got to, Mike. You have to. Or either don't battle no more. But if you are going to battle, you got to change it. If you don't. But anyway, y'all. Enough of beating a dead horse. You watched the battle, Mike P versus Geechee Gotti. Tell me how you felt about it down in the statement. I mean, in the comments, what do you think Mike P should do to be able to reverse this narrative that he has pretty much? It's like they took, you know how like they take the paper, put the tape on it, then, hey, what's up? And put the tape on your back and you walking around with kick me on your back all day. It's just, this is exactly what happened is happening right now currently to Mike P, man. Y'all tell me what this guy need to do, man. Do you think there's any future for Mike P, yo, in battle rap? Can he reverse this? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Y'all be cool how y'all be cool, all right? Peace.